What was your idea for the shirt commercial? I had an idea that you were dead on the ground, covered in blood, and Dan was upset that uh, the shirt was stained more than that you were dead. I could see that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean, there's not really a good hook to that, though. Like what? It's like a ghost shirt? We're trying to sell a shirt. I'm trying to sell the shirt. This one. Yeah. Um, the one I am currently wearing. How about an, oh, nice. uh, a video right. where we just, uh, we find it in a dumpster and we're like, this doesn't belong here, ha ha ha. And then I get it. somebody puts it on, but it's all gross. Do you really want to like, film yeah. next to a dumpster for an hour? Well, for the comedy, I guess. I don't it know. Smell terrible. What if we just had like a, a like the picture of the t-shirt and just like a list of all the pros and cons so people can make an informed decision? Yeah, that's, but that's a good one. What's so great about the shirt? You're wearing okay, it. Okay, all right. Here's my pitch. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you think of this shirt, what do you think of? Uh, not being naked. You think of one, all the colors of the rainbow. Done. We've got all the colors of the rainbow. You got blue, brown, purple, black. Wow. The miracle of color. How many? How? Not, how, how many shirts would like... sell on a rainbow? I forgot which lid belonged where. How many Probably shirts would sell on a rainbow? They're they wouldn't. If you lived on a rainbow, how many shirts would you sell? No, but I mean like, because if you were like, if everything was like normal and you saw all these pretty colors all day living on the rainbow, why would you buy this shirt? If there was a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, then you would have, always have enough money to buy a shirt. This, you're, you're, you're getting, you're, I mean, you're, you're here, we're currently here. Your sales chart looks like a flaccid dick. Which one? This one? No. Oh, that looks like a dick too. That's a math chart. That oh, this? Like this yeah, was that. the any sales. That looks like This a is dick. the happy. How does that? Oh, off. it looks like a dick. <laughs> the hey, Danny. there we go. There's a commercial. Flaccid dick. Is the dick gonna have a shirt? What what goes through the armholes? Each ball. Wow, that's whoa, very oh optimistic. whoa! I, so I'm seeing it now. So the the it's testicles, incredibly ambitious. The testicles are like bent upwards, uh -huh. hanging out the side of the shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the shaft and is the, out yeah. all the and way up. And we call wait, it. We call wait, it. We call wait. it. Wait. We call it a D shirt. I think oh. I see it now. Oh. Guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yep, there it yep. is. <laughs> he's got, he's, a, little, he's got a little hat. That's he's got nice. a cool hat. He's got a hoodie. Oh, yeah. And, he's, and he's, got that little, he's got that little knob at the top. You know, on the top of the hat? He's got a pink hat. So it'll be like a cartoon show with this character. And he's got lots he's of- like, Hey, guys! He's got fingers. He's Check got fingers. out my D-shirt. <laughs> These are his fingers. What, like scrowed fingers? His <laughs> fingers. No, he's a Ew. cartoon character. But his his not, his his body's kind of weird because it actually it actually goes like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is interesting. Under it? his under his body, you understand? <laughs> so it, the the bottom half of the shirt is just wow. kind of hanging there. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like right. so it's kind so of he like, floats in the air like a po like a non-flying exactly, Pokemon. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Interesting. But he, do you think he should have a nose? Yeah. How does he smell out crime? <laughs> What is he, a crime solver now? Yes. Nobody smells out crime, Ross. <laughs> That's a huge nose. How he does wouldn't it? listen to anything you say because he <laughs> is a cool guy. How does this help us sell the shirt, though? Like, what does he have a slogan or a catchphrase? Yeah. He's, he's the yeah. new What's his slogan? Game Grumps. Uh, don't test me. <laughs> don't test me. <laughs> Don't test me, I'm testy. So we need to introduce him in the show, very organically. Organically. Like, as as we did Bergy. When we're writing the next episode of Game Grumps, mm -hmm. we should definitely, uh... Incorporate Incorporate something. him. Like a Mike Aruba joke, that was a very good one, Dan. That was all Dan's marketing plan. Well, yeah, yeah, from the beginning, we the planned beginning. that out before. But I worked on that, I mean, you saw the quarterly reports, that took months. That That's took true. months to That's true. Yeah. I could bring in that, those special writers we bring in whenever we're, like, we're tired, we're supposed to sound tired on the right. show. Right, right, right. Like, they're, they're good at what they do. Yeah, they're they're really good, good at writing. Do you think they're just tired all the time when they write? No, they just they just understand characters. They it's just very understand good. people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Very good. They're pretty great. Okay, so then phase one, introduce this guy. Phase two, uh, put a t-shirt on him. Or a d-shirt. <laughs> oh my god, that's it. Hmm. A d-shirt. No, so people have been selling. said that like four minutes ago. I yeah. didn't hear that. Yeah, we a t-shirt. Like, every, literally literally people have been selling t-shirts for ages. What's the letter after T? You. Shirts belong to you. You need a D shirt. Are you crying? You mean U shirts? Yes, it's so beautiful. Why are you crying right now? I don't know. It's so beautiful. It's really making me sad. Are you really crying? Oh, it's right so now? beautiful. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm not looking directly into that thing the way you are, so maybe that's. What it's it kind is. of hard to look at a rainbow and a D shirt at the same time and not shed a tear of single it's overwhelming. Joy. I know. Yeah, that's not that's a true. rainbow. That's purple and black. That's a rainbow. A little brown. A little brown. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Yeah. 
in real life. Yeah. That's like a, that's like a projectile stream of bloody stool. That is Where'd exactly the blue come that's from? Like, through the sky. The sky. Is blue. Blue's a rainbow. You're right. Blue is a rainbow. If you yeah. told us, if you if you told you gave a duck a sales pitch on a shirt, yeah. he'd be like, he'd be like, I'm sorry, Mr. Duck. You don't have arms. You can't wear it. And he'd be like, Are you serious? I just feel like it's a little too, you know, saccharin for the 18 to 20 demo. Hmm. As long as we're just having a general meeting about different things, when are we gonna tell the fans that I'm actually just a floating head on a pile of blankets? Whoa. I mean... Mm. We'll, we'll figure out the not right... Yet. Are they not ready yet? Yeah. I, I don't mean, think they're I ready mean, for that, that kind of knowledge That was penciled in the quarter three. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, Season three, I think that'll come out. I think the writers are thinking about it. Yeah, it's just a little bit busy right now. You know, they're not really ready for a actor who is just a disembodied floating whoa, whoa. head. Help. Help. Thank you. I think, so, okay. I think next year's Annie Happy is going to look really good. Even so, better than this. So we've got the D-shirt. Mm -hmm. We've got Rickety Bones wearing the shirt. Right. Yeah. Are you serious, Duck? Um, which we're, we're which we scrapped, on. apparently. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. We've got uh, Hashtag Mathit. Which is, um... Which was like, it was we, we wanted to incorporate fun and learning to selling mm -hmm. shirts. Oh, an educational shirt. Right, right. Right. Because we can't ever incorporate all these into... Into one commercial, everything's always lost, and we always like all these ideas. Wait, are you saying that we could have Rickety Bone, Serious Duck, the D shirt, Mr. Testy, and Mathit, and the shitty rainbow, all in one commercial? All in one commercial. All to sell I one product. I, don't, I, don't, I, I mean, I like the idea, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I just, seeing this from you know, marketing perspective, I just see it being difficult to be able to fill, fill those messages in a, into one commercial. I'm, I, 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 I've been filming this whole thing. What? Yeah, yeah, I, I I hit record on the camera with my head. The fuck? We don't have that much film, Dan. We don't shoot. No one shoots. We fi film. we film on Super 8. We, no one films on Did Super you use up we all film the film on Super 8? 35 millimeter. Is that right? Yes. Yes. We haven't used digital since that was the Eight thing. Eight millimeter. Right. We it's have a we limited film, Dan. You see the red light? You know what that means. Wait, wait guys, guys, this does solve some of our problems, though, because it, it would incorporate these messages. That's what I'm saying. Let's just make this the commercial. I, I agree with the floating head. Mm -hmm. So... Well, that's fine. That doesn't right. do anything. I'm well, gonna go take a shit. So, okay. let's leave it to the audience. D-shirt, rickety bones, are you serious, duck, math it. Hashtag Or method. smell the rainbow. There's no audience, I guess. So it's just- we're just recording it. Yeah, it's just a camera, but... But I see what you're saying. We could- we could go in that direction eventually. <laughs> Can someone pour some Yoohoo into my mouth? <laughs>